inebriated or feeling under love, they say, or seeking some thrill to brighten their day. The excuses they weave, oh, how they deceive, but in the end, it's the hearts they bereave. From it was a mistake to I found someone new, their reasons for straying, oh, how they accrue. Keep watching to the end as we work our way to number one and the full rhyme and verse on 10 excuses women use when caught cheating. Welcome to the hallowed halls of Magic's Monologue. I'm Magic, your curator of personal growth and sage keeper of today's keys and tome of wisdom and knowledge. Before embarking on the top 10 excuses women use when caught cheating and the expedition to the vast collection of life's lessons and bad choices, demonstrate your eagerness with a thumbs up to subscribe and smack that bell like a victory bell signaling success to become a patron of wisdom. Now, my brothers, let's dive into today's adventure together. I'm dishing the most common excuses women give when busted for stepping out on their partners, meaning this has been you, could be you, or someday will be you. I'll contrast the rationales used by the fairer sex versus us dudes. Let's start with number 10 and work our way up to the number one lamest excuse in the betrayer's Bible. Number 10, I was drunk. It didn't mean anything. This gets trotted out by both genders, but more often by women according to counseling stats. One survey found that 26% of unfaithful wives use the I was wasted excuse compared to 19% of cheating husbands. As counselor Mary Richards notes, alcohol lowers inhibitions, but doesn't excuse a lacking character. Number nine, it was just a flirtation, no big deal. Trying to downplay the betrayal is many a woman's first line of defense. I just enjoyed some harmless flirting, that's all. However, flirting is often the gateway drug to full-blown affairs, whether emotional or physical. A University of Montreal study revealed that flirting creates a feedback loop of escalating desire that is hard to break. Number eight, I thought you didn't love me anymore. The old lack of affection claim this tends to be rolled out more by female cheaters, 27% versus male cheaters at 18% based on an analysis of therapist caseloads. But come on, ladies, there are more constructive ways to address relationship issues than betraying someone's trust. Number seven, I was going through a hard time and made a mistake. Making a one-time mistake is the get-out-of-jail-free card many women hope will make the whole sordid affair go away. However, relationships experts agree that affairs really happen just once if there are no consequences. As Ariella Nassar states, that first mistake often leads to more mistakes down the road. Number six, we were just working late together. You've got it wrong and have the wrong idea. Denying reality, even in the face of evidence, is common for male and female cheaters alike. 38% of women compared to 27% of men claim their spouse totally misinterpreted an intimate situation at the office, work event, business trip. Honey, you're just being insecure and jealous. 
Stay with me, guys, and keep watching as we are halfway to number one and my full rhyme and verse. If you like what you see so far, hit that like button and please subscribe for future videos. Number five. You've become so controlling, that's why I strayed. Blame shifting and playing the victim is a classic maneuver. For women directly or indirectly accusing their partner of being overbearing or driving them to cheat gets used 33% of cases versus only 21% for men. If you didn't make me feel so trapped, I wouldn't have done this. Uh-huh. Number four. I was lonely and needed to feel desired again. Many counselors and researchers say craving external validation is the top reason women give for infidelity. As psychologist Jane Richard states, his attention and validation made me feel sexy and alive again. For men, scoring bragging rights or the thrill of sexual conquest tops the list. Number three, I still love you, but I'm not in love with you. Ouch. How many of us have felt that one? This attempt at having it both ways ranks as the number three excuse women use when busted. And 42% of them don't even attempt to follow it up with a rationalization, compared to just 31% of men. Relationship expert Dr. Carrie D. Andrews calls it an insult to the institution of marriage. Number two. I won't lie, I'm not happy in this relationship anymore. Yes, talk about cutting your heart out with a dull, rusty spoon. If you hear this from your lady, the writing is on the wall right next to your blood. She's already checked out of your committed union and engaged in cheating. Brutal honesty cuts both ways. She deserves props for not sugarcoating her unhappiness, but her actions are a coward's way out instead of frankly addressing issues. And the number one excuse women use when caught cheating is, drum roll please. The truth is, I've met someone else. The number one most common excuse for female infidelity admitted by 57% of cheating wives is the inexcusable, I've fallen for someone else. That brutal admission is only used by 39% of cheating husbands. Experts agree that when the truth comes out about being smitten with an affair partner, there's little chance of repairing the damaged relationship. Of course, from my perspective, at that point, let them have the person because if they'll do it with you, they'll do it to you. Comparing the excuses and rationales used by unfaithful wives versus husbands, some notable differences emerge. Men more often blame cheating on ego trips conquest thrills, or falling into situations. But women more commonly blame loneliness, needing affirmation, accusing their partners of unhappiness, or flat out leaving for a new lover. Whether male or female, psychologists agree that meaningful accountability, not lame excuses, must be shown for any chance of recovering from the damage of betrayal. I, on the other hand, take up the position, once a cheater, always a cheater, and odds are, given time, they will do it again. Remove the cancer, heal, and move on. As the old saying goes, they may have put the cookies on the highest shelf, but you're the one who kept reaching to get them. Cheaters gotta cheat, I suppose. 
Here's my ending rhyme and verse take. Inebriated or feeling under love, they say, or seeking some thrill to brighten their day. The excuses they weave, oh, how they deceive, but in the end, it's the hearts they bereave. From it was a mistake to I found someone new, their reasons for straying, oh, how they accrue. Blame shifting and downplaying their deceitful ballet. But truth be told, they're just as guilty. Oh, hooray. I still love you, they cry, as guilt starts to bite. Yet their loyalty wanes like flickering light. Unhappiness whispered to justify their fun. But the damage is done. Trust love undone. So spin your tails, you cunning little foxes. But we see through your lies, your deceptive boxes, betraying your vows with no hint of contrition. You're just a cheating 304, no more, no less, no addition. If you found value in this video, please show it by doing three things. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell, and share this with at least two friends you know needs to see it. I want your personal stories to share, or if you see an article online you think I should cover, send the whole story and the link just in case it's not there by the time I get there. Email it to stories at magicsmonologue.com. This way others can learn from your victories, your joys and defeats as we work to not only support each other, but to help each other become better men. This is the best way to grow this channel and support me. If you have a moment, stop by my YouTube community tab and vote on my surveys or subscribe to my Rumble, Twitter, Getter and Gab. In doing so, you're certainly helping to educate other men and have the best revenge by living well. Until next time. Thank you for watching. Before you run off because you got other things to do, check out these other videos and please give them a thumbs up as it helps me make more content.